I don't know if you've noticed this, but sometimes we have multiple words to describe the same thing. For example, roots and zeros are just the x-intercepts of a graph. Usually these terms first show up when studying quadratic equations and functions. Remember, the graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola, which can have 0, 1, or 2 x-intercepts. Sometimes our job is to find the roots, or zeros, of a quadratic equation, and other times we are given the roots and have to write an equation. In either case, it can be useful to remember that quadratic equations can be written as the product of two linear factors, and each of the linear factors will give us one of these roots through the zero product property. If we know that x equals a and x equals b are two zeros of a quadratic function, then the corresponding linear factors are x minus a and x minus b. Multiplying the two linear factors together, x minus a times x minus b, and we get the basis for quadratic equations and functions. Let's use this to answer this next question. A parabola has zeros at x equals negative 3 and x equals 5. Which function could describe that parabola? In this problem, we were told that the zeros of a parabola are negative 3 and 5. x equals negative 3 gives us the linear factor x minus negative 3, or x plus 3. x equals 5 gives us the linear factor x minus 5. Multiply them together and turn it into a function, and we get f of x equals x plus 3 times x minus 5, or answer choice B.